Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the bathroom. I hope you're having a good week. And I just quickly, before I launch into today's video, want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. So many of you reached out to the American Red Cross after learning about the flooding in Houston. A lot of you weren't aware. Many of you had seen it on your uh, local news. It hit national news, even world news. And of course, if you're here in Houston, you know what happened. And so I appreciate you responding to the video and helping out in any way that you can. It means a lot to me. So we are now sort of back on track with uh, the different types of videos that I do, but I am still branching off and doing something different today, something I haven't done before. It is a, it's not a tutorial, but it can be a how-to. It's a do-it-yourself. And I've had so many requests from you all about um, a home tour and home decor, home design. Now, I, I will say this, if, if I had somebody come through this house and you know, if my husband and I had, had a decorator wave a magic wand and say, here, do this, do that, I might shy away from it because to me, the importance of doing these videos is about doing things on your own, for you to have the creative input, for you to make the decision-making process. And so I've decided to do this because, as you know, my husband and I are a blended family. And so when we merged and came together, we both had different furnishings, um, different backgrounds and styles, and we were able to blend them together. Our tastes actually melded incredibly well. His, his color palette and, and schemes in the house were more on the cool side, mine were more on the warm side. And so we managed, I think, in a very unique and interesting way to blend those two together so that we each feel like we are represented in the taste and style of the home. And on top of it, we're able to create a lot of what you see together. We really feel blessed. I have to show you this. Um, this was in January of 2013. This is a little feature in Houston lifestyle and homes that they chose to do on our home. And that was very special for us that they felt that our home was feature worthy in this magazine. So let me walk you through as you make your way into the front door, what you'll see is our entryway. And again, you'll notice the cool tones right away. All the pieces are antique and it's, it's a country French motif. And you know, you remember the uh, video that I did on floral arrangements. Well, you're going to see sort of a redundant theme going on throughout the home. A lot of flowers, a lot of fresh flowers, and a lot of coffee table books. I think they're interesting and unique. So on the buffet, naturally a flower arrangement, and I have two books, and I played off on the colors of the flowers with the books. The books have a little pink, purple. They're both beautiful picture books of Italy. So uh, we place them there on the buffet with the very large lamps in the mirror as you walk in. I like mir mirrors. I like the reflection of light, the illusion of space that they create. Uh, again, so interesting textures, wall paper playing off of the fabric on the chair and all of that. When you walk into the living room, again, you're going to see this marriage of cool and warm. We decided to plaster the walls throughout the house. We used a company here in Houston called Segreto. They did just an incredible job. So the plaster here in the dining room is a bluish green tint. And you'll notice the colors in the rug have that. They have kind of a tan, a khaki, the bluish green, and then a very soft muted red. So we decided to lift that red for me to have the warmth that I was looking for in the choice of fabric that we used for the chairs around the dining room table. I have to state for the record, I adore having a round dining room table. For dinner parties and conversation, it is great because everybody can engage one another and nobody feels left out at the ends of a table. So the room size fit a round table and it's been just great for us to have. Uh, again, but you see the combinations of the textures and the colors. As you move into our living room, our living room is a very large rectangular space and it's really two living rooms in one. There's the more formal side and that has, again, the cool tones, the dark gray, kind of a mohair type uh, couch, and um, just some interesting antique pieces. Everything is different. But what we decided to do was to pull in some warmth from the rug. So if you look at the cushions, um, they're a little blue and gray, and then there's a little touch of bright orange. And again, we played with different fabrics. The bright orange cushions are silk. 
against the, the mohair and it's okay to play around with different fabric. And then we've got a little bench at the end by the fireplace that's got a nice rust color. So again, this is the blending of our tastes and our colors to make it work and, and for both of us to feel like our style is reflected in the uh, decision. Here's the coffee table in that part of the living room. Um, stacks of books. And here's my thing. I love to give coffee table books as gifts. If I get one, to me, that's a bonus. But you can go to places like Half Price Books, and if you're looking to expand on your collection, you can find them at pretty reasonable prices. Just dig around, search online, and have fun with it. In the other part of our living room, it's more of the casual family area where the TV is in a uh, built-in there in the wall and the color choices again are a little bit on the warm side but these are very durable fabrics uh, the kids are here everybody piles on so we wanted something that was comfortable livable that really would hide dirt and these color choices definitely did it to me the best part of this side of the room is this beautiful mural that was painted by an artist that uh, we found through Segreto, the woman who did the plaster on the house and we told him what our interests and style were and he was able to create something that really played off of the theme and the mood that we were trying to set in the living room. My husband and I both love France and Italy. My husband is half French and we wanted to capture the French countryside because the interior of the home has very much a country French theme going on. So we flipped through different books and he was able to create on his own a, a combination of different scenes and uh, visions that we liked and so this is such a, a wonderful space. I, I feel like I'm transported somewhere else when I sit on the couch. And again, the combination of the different colors. Um, and you can see some detail work on the art in this picture. Now in the kitchen, interesting combinations as well. The plaster, we took it into more of a grayish light blue color. And that plays very nicely against the warmth of the tile on the floor as well as the cabinet in the middle. And again, it's just these wonderful combinations. And if you look above the stove, this this I love too. We contracted the artist to do another mural for us. And he did a scene of the Piazza del Popolo, which is in Rome. And that's where Nick and I got engaged. So it's a very special, meaningful scene. And I'm drawn to it every time I come into the kitchen. It just makes me happy. It makes me remember when I said I do to all of it. And I love it and I'm just thrilled. So again, if you can have something like that done or you know an artist, it really is just such a special way to touch your heart and your soul. So we were able to play off of that. Of course, you see the flowers, you know me, I'm always throwing flowers on countertops and just adding a little bit of color and warmth and bringing the outdoors inside. And then I just wanted to show you this little shot of my office. It's just a little seating area in my office when you walk in. And this is a prime example of being able to do something and create a mood without spending a lot of money. My son and my stepchildren, we recently redecorated all of their rooms. And this particular chair was in my stepdaughter's room and she didn't need it anymore. So I brought it down to my office. I found a pillow that matched the color of the wallpaper. This cute little antique table to the right of it, I found at an antique resale place here in Houston called Quattro. And the antique lamp, again, just very reasonable price. But what I did was I popped it all with a beautiful hot pink hydrangea. And I mentioned this in my floral design video before, that it is great sometimes to take a room that has very neutral and muted colors and then all of a sudden add a vibrant pop of flower. It just, it's interesting, it draws your eye to it. And, and that to me is what stands out when I look at this picture. And then we are back here in my bathroom. Of course, this is something that you see every Thursday when you watch the video and you know this room has been through an extreme makeover of sorts as well. It got wallpapered and um, I've been playing around with it, adding the vase and the flowers and the candles and all of that. But what you don't see is what's going on back there. So I wanted to show you this picture of what I did in the shelving by the bathtub. And this is a wonderful opportunity again for you to create and play and do things that are 
touching to you. And so I wanted a combination of things. Again, this room, I wanted it to feel like a little spa retreat. So I took some towels and I folded them and I rolled them differently and I stacked them on different shelves. I got a huge jar from Restoration Hardware and I've dumped a bunch of bar soap in there. Um, some pictures of the kids, me with Nick, and all the pictures that I chose were by the water. So again, plays in with the theme of the water in the bathtub. I've got water pictures. And again, all just arranged in an interesting and different way. So it just, again, speaks to your taste, but it's a wonderful way to make something pretty. I'm, I'm very much about declutter. I don't like clutter. I want everything to have a purpose and a place and everything else needs to get out of there. So I hope this has been inspiring for you, giving you a little sneak peek and a tour of what my husband and I did here in our house. Um, it was a joyful, albeit prolonged experience because these things just don't happen overnight. It's a process, but it can be a fun process. And, and we have literally spent hours pouring over fabric swatches and making decisions and making um, choices that again, combine colors, combine textures and really represent us well in the house. So don't feel like you have to do these things overnight. I feel like it's best sometimes to tackle it room by room and, uh, and just work on it and have fun, have fun mixing things around and playing with light um, and, and, and texture and color and flowers and just be creative. Enjoy your home, enjoy your space. It's yours, personalize it and make it speak to you. I hope this video has been helpful. It's been fun for me um, opening up the home and, and showing you everything that's going on in here. Again, comments and suggestions below. I love them, I live for them, and I create videos because of them. You can always follow me on all of my different social media outlets as well as KPRC Channel 2 at 6 and 10 o'clock. Our newscasts are streamed live on the station's website at click2houston.com so you can check me out there as well. So go out there with your decorating ideas. Have fun with it. Get fancy. Be bold. Be blessed. And I will see you in a week. Bye-bye.